I'm Joe Hopkinson from the technical support team, and I'm looking at working with AutoCAD data in ArcGIS Pro. ArcGIS Pro can natively read DWG and DXF format files, so I can immediately see my data in the catalogue pane and add it to my map. As you can see, the data is drawn here at the origin of the British National Grid, so the first thing I'll need to do is georeference my data. I'll work with the polyline data rather than the annotation layer. First, I'm going to zoom to the location of my office building. Here's my building. The CAD layer tab opened when I added the CAD data to my map. Here there's a georeference button, which opens a georeference tab. First, I use Move to Display to bring my CAD data to fit the extents that I'm currently viewing. I can see that the polygon data is obscuring things, so I'll switch that off for now. To georeference this data, I need to define two control points, ideally across the full extent of the data, to be georeferenced. These need to be on features which are clearly identifiable in both the data to be georeferenced and on my base map. I use add control points to do this. First, I'm going to check my snapping settings though. Snapping is switched on for my polyline data. And I'm going to check snapping here and switch snapping on. So I, I'm going to add my first control point to this feature. And then locate the corresponding feature on my base map. I'll use this point as my second control point. If I wasn't happy with either of those control points, I can check the control point table. Here I can switch off a control point or I can delete. If I select a point, I can use the delete button to delete a control point and repeat. If I'm happy with those control points, which I am, I can apply the transformation. And I'm happy with that, so I will save it and close the georeference tab. Now that my data is in the correct location, I'm going to switch off my base map and just take a look at the data I've been given. I'll have another look at the polygon data. I can see that the polygons aren't the footprint of the building or the office spaces. They seem to mostly be office furniture. And the polyline data is going to be more useful for my purposes, so I'll work with this. I'm going to want to delete some items like the scale bar. So what I'm going to do is export the features at this point into a line feature class in a file geodatabase. I'm going to clear a selection to ensure I export all the features and then use data export features. Now I can switch off my CAD data and continue working with a line feature class using all the editing tools I'm familiar with in ArcGIS Pro. I want to delete the scale bar and the extents of the drawing. But now I see that this is a multi-part polyline. I'm going to need to break it down into its component parts so that I can keep the elements that I'm interested in and delete the ones that I'm not. 
I use the explode tool to do this. Now I close this tool. Now I can select the drawing extents and delete only this element. I can continue to clean out the features that I'm not interested in. What I want to do is generate lines which close out the office spaces and the footprint of the building. I could digitize a line to close this office space, or I can modify this door symbol. I'm going to choose to modify the symbol. I'm going to grab vertex 2 and snap it to the other side of the doorway. And then I'll delete the other vertice. I'm happy with those edits, so I will save. and close this tool. Now I have a closed office space. I can select lines that are closing a space and use the feature to, poly line, uh, feature to polygon tool to generate polygons. But uh, as you can see, it's going to take quite a bit of manual editing to clean up my full data set. So here's a copy of the data that I've worked on previously. Here I've retained lines for the extent of the building and for the office spaces. I run features to polygon tool. And this generates polygons from my line features. There is a huge difference in the way CAD data is formatted. In this case, I had to do quite a lot of manual editing to clean the data up to generate the features in the format that I wanted. If you're able to talk to the CAD operator supplying you with the data, you might be able to request that they can ensure the lines are closed, closing the features. Um, or to talk to them about the structure of the data. Here's another example of a, of a CAD format uh, data. This is being drawn natively from the uh, DWG files. As you can see, it's already split out into layers, which would be much easier to work with, both for the lines and the polygons. I could select these and export features uh, much more quickly than I was able to do with the previous example. It's also worth talking to the people supplying the data to find out whether they're using BIM software. If they're saving files from BIM software in IFC or Revit format, then the data will inherently be structured uh, in polygons and close shapes. Um, these are also now natively read in ArcGIS Pro. If you add these to ArcGIS Pro, you'll be able to select the features such as rooms that you're interested in and use multi-patch footprint tool to 
very quickly generate polygon footprints of the features that you're interested in. So well worth checking out if the data is available in that format. However, I hope that you've seen how easy it is to bring CAD data into ArcGIS Pro and edit it from there.